It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Saturday, the 29th of October. I'm Michael Groff. Very warm conditions today and tomorrow, gradually cooling as we head into next week. And we get November started with maybe, just maybe, some rain chances. Looking out there this morning, the view from Northern Arizona University, the San Francisco Peaks. A few clouds up there. A few clouds around the state this afternoon, but no rain around here. Looking at 88 degrees at Sky Harbor at the midday hour, dew point at 46, relative humidity 24%. The winds are light and the barometer is falling. Temperatures across south central Arizona and around the metro area right now, we're mostly in the low to middle 80s, a few upper 80s on the board as well. Clouds mostly across southern California up through southern Nevada, a few high clouds through the day today. Watch warning map very quiet. We note some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings in the Sierra. Otherwise, not really a lot to talk about on the map. No organized areas of severe weather expected across the country today. And what about our weather? We'll get into it as we look at the models. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. That old 588 ridge still hanging around here in the southern tier of the United States. Big trough still off the west coast and... Broad southwesterly flow around here keeps us very dry as we go through the next couple of days. So temperatures will be warm once again this afternoon. We'll climb right back up into the middle 90s. The record high for today, 95 degrees, and I'm not quite sure we're going to make it there, but we could. So just been a week of record highs, and so that may continue. Another very mild night tonight with lows mainly in the 60s to lower 70s. Tomorrow, again, another sunny day few clouds possible in the afternoon will climb back up into the low to mid 90s. Monday, we start to see the influence of low pressure areas battering down our ridge to the east. It breaks down very slowly and temperatures will cool off middle to upper 80s. GFS still printing out 85 for Monday. We might be just a degree or two warmer than that. But when you go out trick or treating on Monday night, we've been talking about this for the last few days. Have a costume party. You're going out someplace. It'll be pretty nice once the sun goes down with this dry air. Temperatures will cool off very quickly into the upper 70s by 7 p.m. or so. Tuesday, we start to see some clouds increase. An upper low will slowly be digging down the west coast. And so, could be some breezes. Temperatures will be mainly in the mid to upper 80s. Wednesday, we start to see some rain chances coming into the eastern part of Arizona as moisture is pulled north by that low. And then the GFS has been very consistent, and there's some agreement amongst the models that this low will cut off over the southwest states on Thursday and Friday. And as that happens, we'll see more moisture drawn into the state and slight chances for showers, maybe a thunderstorm around here. Not going to get too excited about it. 20% chances for rain is what we'll go with right now. That may increase with time, but confidence in this scenario, not really all that high. And even if this does happen... We'll still be under the influence of broad ridging, and so it'll be pretty hard to get any uh, significant precipitation around here. You're talking about a few hundredths, maybe a tenth of an inch at most, if we see anything at all. The low hanger hangs around here through next weekend. This is a week from today, Saturday, November 5th. We see broad troughing, a little weak low here over the southwest states, but overall ridging to our west and north. So we should stay dry. Any precipitation will be confined to far eastern Arizona over into New Mexico, the Rio Grande Valley. This is Sunday, November 6th. And again, we're talking about dry conditions around here. High pressure, the old 588 ridge coming back in from the west. And if this were to verify, temperatures would be in the mid to upper 80s. This is the end of the forecast period, Monday, November 7th. And again, there's that low. It's still cut off somewhere over the Rio Grande Valley or northern Mexico. But we are still under the influence of broad ridging around here. And temperatures would be near 90 if this were right. Rainfall through the next 10 days, just not a whole lot around here. But again, we're showing some amounts around a tenth or two tenths of an inch over portions of Maricopa County. So I wouldn't get too excited. The rainfall distribution never quite looks like this. But some spots may see some more significant precip. Most of us see a few hundreds, maybe a trace, and that's about it. Temperatures through the period look about like this. We will be mainly in the middle 90s today and tomorrow, cooling off next week, and then warmer temperatures by the end of next week with those small rain chances. And that, of course, could always influence temperatures, but that's not a scenario we're going to go with at this time. Above normal temperatures is the bottom line to this forecast all the way through the period. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video comes your way tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching and have a great Saturday.